I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. If I understand right, how, how did you end up being in the Pentagon uh, the day 9 11? Why, why were you in there? I was assigned there. You know, what, what happened that they can, can you Can you describe the events? I mean, I know it's hard. But... Uh, can I describe them? Yeah, an airplane came in the office and killed a whole bunch of people. I mean, that's about as blunt as you can be on. Yeah. After that, everyone was working very hard to try and save people that were just injured and not killed. How's, um, how's it like looking back on it eight years later? Is it getting easier for you? Is it years ago? You don't ever forget people. You know, each person has a, has a story. Each person had a family. So you, you remember their people. And you remember the fact that they had a family. And you remember the fact that their lives were destroyed, whether they were killed or not. So, like I said, you don't ever forget an event like that. That's what it seemed like the point of your message today, too. You're distressing the people that you know and you remember and what happens to them on those. Are you, are you still in the military now or are you retired? No, I'm retired. How long, how long did, were you in the military? 33 years. 33 years. Was, is that the most memorable part of your entire career? Uh, no, I mean, wartime is memorable events that happened, but that was a memorable point because those were innocent people. Mm -hmm. So they had no clue that anything was going to happen. So, I guess your whole time in the military, do you ever see anything else like that? Or? No, no. And are, are you from this area originally, sir? Wichita Falls. Wichita Falls, okay. When, when did you uh, move, move back here to Texas? 2002. Okay, do you like it being back so far? So far. <laughs> All right. Hey, well, thanks a lot, sir. Okay, thanks.